Welcome back. Yes, we are still talking about our beautiful furry friends this morning, but with a bit of a dark edge because we have been, yes, talking about Guy Fawkes and how just terrifying it can be for our pets. And we've gone through some of those safety tips. We're going to take a broader scope now. And we're going to um, look at welcoming a new pet into our home. Do you have a small house, but a big heart like we do for our pets? Well, if you've always wanted a cat, but fear that your apartment is just too small, or there is a lack of garden, maybe it's an issue, then rest assured you do have options. Animal behaviorist Karis Nafti is here with a dog. Yes, we know. Um, <laughs> he, he might like, I think he, Sammy looks like he likes cats. Yeah. Um, but we're going to be talking about how to introduce a cat into our home. And no matter how big or small, and this is quite self-indulgent because you are in the, in the market for a new little kitten. Eh? I am in the market for a new kitty cat, but I think this was, I wish we had this conversation before I adopted Navy because I lived in a very tiny apartment and I was worried there's no garden. Is she going to need more space? What are my options? So, Karis, I know that dogs need space, but how much space does a cat need? Well, dogs... So, first of all, Sam lives with three cats, and he loves his cat, so that's why he's here as an honorary oh, cat this thank morning, you, boy. so he thank can be you. part of the conversation. Okay. So, cats do need... You can get a cat in a small apartment. It's absolutely fine. You just have to make the environment work for them. So as you know from Navy, I'm sure, cats like to go up on different levels. Mm. So get a nice cat toy where they are cat tree where they can go up high and they can hide. As long as they have lots of different spaces to run around and cats are usually quite happy. What you can get for them if you don't have a garden, let's say, there are specific cat plants, like planters you can buy with cat-friendly plants in it because it is nice for cats to chew on grass and catnip and all the things. You just got to make sure, obviously, it's a cat friendly, friendly plant. Yeah. Okay? There's some out there, there that are, are poisonous. There's some that are poisonous, yeah. so you need to really do your research and be smart because cats do like to chew on plants. So make okay. sure there's nothing poisonous. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and, there, and there are tons of apps that can help you in that sense. Yeah. So. It's yeah. the funniest thing. Navy's obsessed with my plant. Yes. So I buy roses and she wants to stick her head in there and drink that water yes. or nibble on the plants. And yes. I actually bought her a little catnip plant and she just smells it, but she's not really too sure about it just yet. Yeah, and the thing that's also good you pointed out, because what cats like is novelty. Cats like new stuff. You know, cats are curious. We've all heard sort of the jokes. So whatever plants you do have, if you can rotate them and bring in different plants and different toys, Keep it guessing. also makes it interesting. Okay. Anytime you have a cardboard box, Give it to the cat. Love cardboard yeah. boxes, that sort of thing. Um, so those kind of things that makes them happy. The chance to play and box with toys is really important for them. And then they can be completely happy. You just have to make the environment, yeah, just cat friendly. Uh, stimulate them. Yes. Yeah, feeding off that, that's the key word there, stimulate. How do we ensure that our cats are stimulated and how much do they need? Because I know, notice with my new kitten, I mean, she's got two gears. It's either like full on or asleep. Yeah. There's no kind of no in, in between. between you there know? is no in between. With cats, they're but hunting. How or much they're... stimulation do they need for for to keep them healthy? Yeah, it's a, so you have to. Every cat's different, and depending on their age. So if they've got more energy and they're not settled down and they're not kind of sleeping much of the day, they probably don't have enough toys to play with. So they need healthy outlets for their energy. So as you say, when they're in that zoomy fast speed, that's when you want to have the toys out that they can box and things that make crunchy noises and that they can chase and dive packet. into. My goodness. A paper packet. I Just mean, a paper ball. Sorted. <laughs> sorted, yeah. You do have to be careful with plastic packets though because they can get stuck get in there. So don't in ever it, yeah. give your cat a plastic packet. And then if you bring the toys out at certain times of the day, that will help them. In terms of your own sleeping, which is always an issue with cats, try to play with them in the evening because if you let your cat sleep from like lunchtime till yeah, midnight, they're then they're going to want to play and have a party. <laughs> so <laughs> try to entertain them before that so that they do sleep through the night and that, that they settle down. Yeah. Now, my cat, she's an indoor cat because she is, she was adopted, she's very skittish. Yeah. How important is it to, you know, make sure that your pet is protected against parasites because mm. she's not going outside. Is mm. it still something I need to yeah. make sure she gets all her monthly or like every three months her little... Yeah. Yeah, it's chewable, yeah. It, it definitely is because they can get parasites. They can, if you're around an animal that has, sorry to be gross, but it happens. Yeah. If you're around someone with pets, you can actually bring your, you can bring parasites home. They can still kill rats and mice in a house, even if they don't go outside, which can have parasites. So yes, you do need to still keep it up, especially in an apartment, because if you do get a parasite problem in a small space, it's really 
it's not nice for the humans either. So you want to keep up with that. I mean, so no, that your fleas whole space... will set up a nest no, somewhere. In the carpet, in the yeah. bed, if it's really gross. So you want to absolutely just prevent it. It's so easy to prevent it and keep it from becoming an issue. Yes. Picking up, well, hopefully not picking up what you're putting down, but we understand, <laughs> we get it. If you've always wanted a cat and have a loving home to offer, and we stress that, then just do it, man. It's changed my life so much so, and so much so for the better. And given your space is pet friendly, safe and secure, then any pet would be lucky to have that forever home. There we go, and as always, monthly parasite treatment is a non-negotiable. Broadline spot-on solutions is easy to use and can be given to your cats once a month to protect them against parasites inside and out. Now you can shop it online at pethaven.co.za and if you have any other photos or you know of your cats that you'd love to share with us please do so we would love to see them on our social media platforms because we love our animals here we on love our animals and we show. love you sammy <laughs> boy thank you for coming and tolerating all the cat talk we appreciate that. He's bored that. now. He's bored of yeah, the cats. Yeah, he's like, ah, oh, oh, come he on. He loved this rug earlier. No, no, this is his. This is forever <laughs> Sammy's, Sammy's rug. Good boy, Karis. We absolutely love you. Thank you so much. It's such much. a pleasure, guys. Oh, the boy.